All right, welcome in today, guys. Happy art day to you guys. Happy holiday spooky season. We are doing probably the most cutest and adorable Grim Reaper ever. Okay, we are doing him step by step to make it nice and easy for you to follow along. Speaking of follow along, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. We haven't already to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. Um, let's get started on this. He's going to be about the size of our fist on the top. Leave a little bit of room for his body down here. So I'm going to start off really lightly just in case I make a mistake here. There you go, a circle. You could trace something if you want to, but you know my theory with that. I think you can just draw a circle. I have confidence that you guys can do it just like me as best as you can. Does not have to be perfect. I kind of go from one way to the other. And then if you want to connect it down there, that is okay. And then I'm going to kind of do his body uh, kind of hovering around down here. It goes down and then loops a little bit over and then back maybe a little bit wider or at an angle on this side. And then he jets right up there, almost kind of connects on this side. So that's kind of the shape. It's almost like a ball on a little pedestal here. So now we got our proportions set up really good. Um, I'm gonna start actually with his little hood, uh, almost like an outline around his face. So we know where to put his eyes on the inside. Keep saying he, even though yet you could make this a Grim Reaper girl too, maybe by putting eyelashes or I guess the way you, that you color or decorate and design this. So that is completely up to you guys. So let's start, um, I'm going to pick this little corner here, and I'm going to go up a little bit traced on the side here, and then s almost straight across over here, and then this will loop back around the other way, right across the top there, and that doesn't have to be perfect, but like I said, that's kind of like his hood. See, I said his again. Like their hood. Is that better? Okay, then they have some pretty large eyes over here. Again, some nice big circles on this side. And then another one on the other side. <laughs> it's starting to look like it now. And then right in between will be a triangle. And go over those eyes a little bit darker so you can see. It's pretty easy once I have it lightly. Then I can just trace right over it. Okay, and then I almost forgot the cutest part. Putting a little circle in the upper corner. There. And then almost like a pumpkin mouth, I think, will be the best. Kind of go down. I'm going to give him a little bit of a tooth in there. And then that continues. Almost like a little smirk on that side. And then meeting right up there. <laughs> I like that. Still need some arms over here. So I'm going to take this side almost where this kind of meets here. I'm gonna bring that out a little bit and then down. Make that kind of jet over, kind of like a C, and then give them a little paw right there. And then on the opposite side, where that kind of comes down again, this will kind of jet out. And then give it a little bit of a curve. This one can kind of come up and meet over there to that curve and then the little mitt kind of comes out over and back around and that's what he's going to be holding his dagger or i guess a flag not that this is too elementary friendly might scare some of my little elementary friends but you could always make this as a sign also besides a dagger if you want to make it a little bit more elementary friendly but so this will go down this one will go up cap it with a little arch line Cap that, and then make that go down, and then connect all the way down here, and then that can just stop at the bottom. All right, that looks cool. And then from this, curvy line going down. This one also, curvy line going down to a point. Nice, I like that. I'm going to outline that in Sharpie and then be thinking about not only how I'm going to color it in, but what I'm going to do in the background too. So let's go through that really fast. Okay, nice. That's looking awesome now. It looks like a coloring sheet that you can do whatever you want to them. And it got kind of has me thinking of a ghost on here. So let's make some magical ghostly powers with my tissue paper just like... Bam! There it is. All right, cool. How sweet does this look? I used a whole bunch of different tools. You can see I got kind of that, that texture uh, with the jumbo crayon. Sometimes the edge of it, sometimes the point of it. Used my silver Sharpie. 
for his little blade over here and color pencils and sharpies and all sorts of things especially my crayon for the background also on I had some fun with this i know i do this is always one of my favorite times of the year so as always i am mr shooty this is mr shooty's art channel we'll talk to you guys later